We just got some leaks. We just got some leaks. We just got some leaks. I wonder who they're from. All right, so time to get these episode leaks. Starting with Dugout because Lion 4 already leaked like a month ago, so those leaks are kind of irrelevant. And as I already expected, these first few episodes, everything up until um, Are You My Dad, is just Steven going through the motions of his daily life, and we slowly see people disappear, and it all begins here with Dugout. So the two minute preview, Steven and Connie are talking about the zoo arc, how crazy life can be, Connie's dad Doug does a little bit, Steven thinks he's serious, Steven like freaks out, and I actually like Doug's characterization here. He's a lot more chill back. He's a lot more chill and laid back than he was in House Guest or Winter Forecast. So it looks like he's more used to Connie being a lot more extroverted as opposed to introverted. And he's taking a few notes from her. He seems a lot more fond of Steven and just a lot more friendlier and a way less strict. And I wasn't expecting that in this episode, so I'm really happy to see that change. I know people typically aren't a big fan of the Beat City characters as opposed to the gems, but when it comes to Connie's family, Connie basically is an honorary crystal gem. So seeing her family and their growth is very important. Especially since she's the most important female and human in Steven's life. Well, human besides Greg. So Doug is on a mission. What kind of mission? Well, the synopsis says it's a stakeout, so they're trying to catch someone. He's monitoring someone. That someone is more than likely Onion. I say this because in the initial social media promo for Steven Bomb 6, the missing poster of Onion is actually a repurposed wanted poster by Yellowtail. And judging by that photo, Onion is dismantling and just taking stuff from Funland, being the little destructive menace society that he is. So Doug's trying to get to the bottom of the case. So let's fast forward right to the screenshots. This one looks like Doug's interrogating or questioning somebody. Perhaps he finds a clue or a lead to Onion, and he's discussing with Steven or Connie. Perhaps he's reacting to the fact that Steven and Connie want to join in the stakeout. Steven could very well figure out the situation, like, yeah, I think this might be Onion, actually. He's the perpetrator. And since Steven is friends with Onion, he's the one that could, quote-unquote, bring him in. And Connie wants to join, too, because, well, if Steven's joining, why not Connie? Doug's her father, after all. Doug, of course, agrees to letting Steven and Connie join the case. After all, if it's Onion, it can't be too dangerous. Which leads to this image, Steven's putting on a mustache, so he's thinking, let's put on disguises. We don't want to scare Onion off too bad. Because, let's be honest, it's fairly easy to recognize Steven in Beach City. He's very friendly. Everybody knows Steven. Their actual disguises, though, aren't so much disguises as they are homages. Steven's trying to pass off as Luigi, but he only has a head and mustache, nothing else. While Connie is Carmen Sandiego. I mean, at least that's a better disguise. And Doug's ready to just jump right into it. He's ready to crack this case. He's really excited. And although it looks like this arc may end with us going to Homeworld, I want to see more of Doug. When Steven eventually returns to Beach City, assuming he does leave, let's have more Doug episodes, please. I like this direction of the character already. So if we recall to the social media promo when it was showing the empty Funland, when it was showing the empty Beach City in Funland, the UFO ride opened and that caught my eye. That may align with this shot of Doug Opening up the ride, their search for Onion takes them here, and they go to explore it. This somehow leads to the next image, which takes us to Steven going full speed. Perhaps he turned on the ride, perhaps Onion turned on the ride, perhaps somehow it came on on its own. But Steven, being half gem, can withstand the speed. Although it looks like he's struggling to a bit, so how fast does this ride go? I think it'd be pretty neat if Onion turned it on and Steven's trying to chase down Onion and we have a little sequence. Just because I love Onion, and he's always hilarious in a demented way. Can I just say I admire the look of the inside of the ride? I like the stars everywhere. Space rides at theme parks have always fascinated me, so I'm glad we're actually exploring Funland a little bit more. We've only seen bits and pieces of it, but here in this arc, it looks like we may get a full tour. Now, I think it might be possible that either this theme park is the ship that Topaz and Aquamarine are in, or it looks just like it. Because in images of I and my mom, it's the exact same lighting, the exact same color scheme for inside this ship and inside that ship. And as we see here at the very top, there are support beams leading up to a ceiling, and I believe that might come down to reveal the top of their ship. I want to see a much more clever homeworld, a much more devious homeworld, so let's hope that comes to fruition. And if not, an identical ship would be fine too. This next image is Doug, Steven, and Connie. Steven and Connie are showing their disguises. Doug looks, at this point, he has a little bit of stress lines underneath his eye. So their search for Onion is not going anywhere, or they've just lost him. Either way, they're ready to find him. Connie looks like she's looking for him. Steven looks pretty concerned. And we know that Onion, he's a devious one. 
so the fact he's eluding them throughout the entire episode does not surprise me. But in the next screenshot, it looks like they finally do find Onion, and since Doug is equipped with a flashlight in the previous image, I believe that light is what's shining on Onion here. They have him cornered, and he can't resist any longer. Now, is Onion actually gonna get arrested, or just get a slap on the wrist? I don't really know, Onion's a child. So I can't picture him in the Stony Lonesome. Doug just may give him a warning, talk to him, tell him that it's not right to do this, and Onion will pretend like he understands that he agrees, and they're carrying off their night, which leads to this final image of Doug looking very relieved, like they finally cracked the case, and now he can get to bed. But the episode's likely not gonna end there. This is the start of an arc, after all, and people are going to be missing. This episode seemingly ends at night, and Onion very well may be on the boardwalk when he gets abducted. Either going home or just staying out a little bit later because he's Onion and he's a complete weirdo. So I believe this episode will end with Onion walking home when he's approached by the silhouettes of the two gems that we now know as Topaz and Aquamarine. Onion turns around and the episode ends with Onion being abducted. It seems like this arc will mostly be Beat City episodes that for the most part it's his own tale, it's own journey, it's own adventure, and then at the end, someone gets abducted. At the end of this one, we see Onion getting abducted. At the end of the next one, Sadie gets abducted. And then Steven realizes, hey, a lot of people are going missing. Are they throwing me a surprise party? Oh no, oh no, that's Homeworld. Which I know a lot of people are gonna have a problem with because they want every single episode to be mainly focused on Homeworld gems and the fact that Topaz and Aquamarine are on Earth and that they're just taking people as they please. However, I think we need to build up the importance of all these characters getting abducted. And there's only really so much you can do with the fact that these gems are taking them against their will and probably to the zoo. I feel like that's not something you can drag out for four or five episodes any other way than how they're doing it now. Because as soon as Steven catches on, the gems are just going to go face Topaz and Aquamarine. So you need that build up, you need these episodes that end on a plot advancement and then dive in. But these are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours. So please, in the comments below, what do you think of these leaks? What do you think is going on in this episode? Are you excited for it or are you kind of disappointed because you want all this to just be plot advancement all the way through? Or do you understand and agree that it's better this way if they build it up and then hit us with these two big episodes where things just keep happening? And really, you only get 12 minutes. Less than that if you take away the opening and the credits. With such limited time, not every single story can work. So they may just be better off with this format of Beat City episodes with plot advancement at the end, regardless. If you want us to keep talking about leaks, if you could do us all a favor, like this video. If you're new here, subscribe. If you have other Steven Universe fans who would be interested in these leaks, share this video with them. If you're feeling generous, support us on Patreon. And if you want to rep the round table, if you want to rep Crystal Clear, we have a lot of teas and hoodies on Teespring. So snag one or two. They print every three days, and the link is always in the description. Ostrich Vox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.